The following quote modern. We're backstage in Philadelphia. I'm joined by Justin Gaethje. Justin, I mean, I don't even know what to say. You only needed one round. It was insane. You heard him, and then you actually finished him about a minute later. Um, I know it's very hard to go back right after all this adrenaline is running through your veins, but how would you assess that fight? Oh, this is just an unbelievable sport. Um, uh, so much self-doubt tries to creep in over and over and over through camp. Uh, in the back, you're just sitting there like, do I have it in me? You know, am I good enough? But at the end of the day, you just have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in the preparation. And um, I believe in the people I've surrounded myself with. I've, you know, you surround yourself with great people and they'll push you through these hard times. Yeah, well, they certainly got you through this. You got your hand raised My style is changing so, so much. Um, I know it's hard to see from from those two fights, but um, just slowing it down a little bit has has found me so much more success in, in my approach, and it's just um, just amazing. Uh, and I'm just thank, thankful to God that I, I'm you know free from any serious injury. And, um, you know, I'll still go home and I'll still question um, if I'm good enough. But I think that's why I've come this far. Three terrible hours called the stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by GKO. Justin the Highlight What a cool dude, right? He's a great guy. Justin Gate. Justin, lately have you been knocking guys out so fast with your hands? What's that new confidence? Where's it coming from for you to go find these guys and just put them out in one round? I have no idea. When I, every time I walk out here, I. I question everything on purpose. I think they're better than me. I think they're working harder than me. I have something to prove to myself every time I step in here, and I will never, never let myself down. Max effort's all I expect from myself. With that, I will be satisfied no matter what. It is always it is such always a pleasure such to see pleasure your name at the top of the marquee. Top we always get so excited when so it's a Justin Gaethje fight. For those in attendance at UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. A big martial artist, holding professional record, 20 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 and 1 half pounds. Finally, out of Atlanta, Colorado, by way of Stafford, Arizona, USA, presenting the number 5 ranked lightweight contender in the world, Justin the Justin Gaethje, this kid is explosive. Oh my God, Gaethje is my Great shit in Atlanta. Oh, Gaethje is out of the game. Justin Gaethje, where does his best work? He can get his hands on him. He punches him in the quince. He's got beautiful, dirty boxing. He always finishes with leg kicks. Gaethje is Gaethje, you hear his stats, he's a state champion All-American wrestler, but he looks like a serious striker. Justin Gaethje, in typical Gaethje fashion, just smothers him. Gaethje's doing exactly what he says. He's going to start landing those leg kicks. That's one of his calling cards. It's always been he, the leg kicks of Justin Gaethje. Man, you can't take many of them. He's already got two of them. All right, Justin Gaethje.
towards the University of Northern Colorado. If he's stunned, he's Camino taking a big right to the side of the head. And now it's Gagey starting to apply the pressure. Apply the pressure. I've always thought one of Justin Gagey's most underrated strikes is that left hook. He throws it really tight, keeps his right hand up when he's throwing the left hook, and he lands it over and over again. But he does enough to frustrate his opponent, and that's what he's done now. Gaethje comes forward with a nice combination. Yeah, Justin Gaethje just yeah. continues to bring it. Just continues to bring it. Continues to bring it. Wow. And Gaethje looking to end the first round with fireworks. And it ends the way it started. And I'm still trying to find some MMA historians to tell me what exactly that move is called. That move is called. Absolutely outstanding. The shots he has taken. The shots he has taken. Oh, there you go, Calabino. Cuts down Palomino with the kick. Hammer fist, hammer fist. Gaethje. Great slaughter. He is still the champion. There's no way this goes five rounds. They make both have to tap out because of exhaustion. 20 seconds left in round two. Can Johnson survive? That's it. He cannot. Johnson. With his ultimate highlight, he doesn't even have the energy to celebrate. said, you know, with this new approach, he said, guys can't take a shot because he just hits so hard. He goes, I hit so hard, I can put anybody out. Oh, one for Gaethje. Cerrone takes it in. He's Gaethje has him down. It's over. Justin Gaethje. My first round knockout again. Thank you.